Alrighty, we're back for this last round. We're currently 3-1, so hopefully we can make this round 4-1 in this uh, Seals Competitive League. Uh, we won the Dire World. Yes, we would like to play it. We want to race. Um, this hand is pretty do-nothing. We don't even have the double red to cast Breeze and Scourge on curve. I mean, we have Tidy Conclusion and Battle of the Bridge, which are good later, but I don't think... like, Like, if we're against a big green opponent... I think we just get too far behind, or or another aggressive opponent. I think we mulligan this, which is kind of rough, but um, yeah, I like this hand. This hand's better. I'm I'm happier with this. Uh, yeah, perfect. Even better. Get to do a little bit of curving, sweet curving. Um, Buff the shock. See what our opponent does. Blue a. Kind of okay with that. Slam our Poisoner. Get our two energy. Pass the turn. Ether Swooper. Sure. So, I quite like swinging here, making a token, and then being able to cast our Sweatworks Brawler. So, we will do that. And then next turn we can make a big attack. Uh, yeah, I want to pay for the ability. Give me that servo. Give me that servo. <laughs> uh, all right. Turn three, three, three menace. I can dig it, and then follow it up with a three, three haste. That seems very strong to me. So it's kind of awkward. He has to deploy another creature here if he wants to block the brawler. So he's kind of pricing to attacking to make the servo. Um, we'll see what he does next. Obviously, the servo is not the greatest blocker. Ooh, he's got a sweatworks brawler of his own. A eh? sure works for me because we're kind of ahead in this race as it is. Um, yeah, I kind of like this. We can leave the servo and the death toucher back and just take care of the sweatworks brawler if he wants to swing in. Otherwise, he has to trade with the scourge. Seems strong. <clears throat> uh, I guess my opponent's trying to think about forcing this or something. <laughs> As he's tapped out. Uh, big swings. Yep, I'm totally okay with that. Um, the reason I'm mostly okay with that is just because these don't tango well with the 3-3 three, three Menace. So I don't really mind if he wants to sort of trade off his good blocker, as it were. And we can keep on getting in with that 3-3. Three, three. Kind of surprised he didn't double block the Swallow Explorer. Rather than the Braden Scourge, but um, maybe it's something else for it. Who knows? He does have six cards in hand, so he might be getting a little choked on mana. We'll see if he hits his land drop this turn. Okay. Yeah, he gets there. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> Seems like a good thing to trade off a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher with. I sort of a 3-mana do, do nothing for my opponent. Um, it does prevent me from attacking this turn, but that's okay. We can just develop our board. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, this guy looks really bad in the face of these menace creatures, I think. Okay. Into blocks. Trade these off. See if he has any effects. Nope. Cool. Sounds good. Treasure Keeper. This guy's a good card. I like this card. Uh, that's not really what we're looking for here. 
kind of frustrating because trading with it, like, we don't want to get into this sort of standstill situation because, well, I mean, I guess it's not the worst. I guess we could wait, see if we draw a, um, a removal spell. But he's got three more cards in hand, which makes me kind of wary of doing that. Um, he might just swing with it. Ugh. We could just wait till Fretwork Colony gets big enough, but that's really slow. It's kind of doubling his clock, oddly enough. Um, we could just trade now. Reveal an online card. You can guess that card. That big mana cost. Ugh. Really disincentivizes me. I'd rather like get into a situation where I can kill the servo, I think, or something to that effect. Or at the very least, like, I don't want to trade with a 3-3, and then... Okay. Uh, sure. I think I'm more happy about this. Just block like this. Might get blown out here. Yeah, okay. All right. Hmm, that might be an issue. Uh, fatal push is sort of strong. Hmm. But we don't really have any good attacks. I'm just gonna wait. This is looking like it's going to turn into a bit of a grind. Ooh, classic two for one A. Eh? All right. Uh, yep. Take my beats. I'm trying to think if we do actually have an answer for this. Um, we'll fatal push on this guy now that we have our revolt triggered. Alright, he wants to do that. Fine. Key to the city. Okay, the gate and main back. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, but I guess fair enough. Um, I think we have to start clocking him. Like, I don't want to attack the or block the four four with this dude. It just seems really weak. Um, and to be fair, if we continue to clock him, we do have outs to make sure that we um, <clears throat> we can come back right. Like, if we draw a battle of the bridge. You know, that's gaining five life. God, negate. Brutal, dude. Um, or we can draw that. And... I guess we'll make him attack. But I'm not sure we have an out now. Because this means we have to draw into... Battle out the bridge. Into a sort of other creature that can clock him. And he's got four blockers. Yeah, okay. GG's. We'll go to game two. Um, kind of a lot of stupid servo things going on. Hmm. Makes me more interested in Fenholer, but type conclusion looked pretty bad there, actually. Um, shock. Like more. Hmm. Might actually want to bring the puzzle knot if we want to grind a little bit more. Forever Colony didn't look very good there, but we also drew it quite late.
So do we want to take out? I'm not sure how interested I am in the trick now. It's kind of funny when you come back and look at the deck. Obviously, well, I mean, I'm recording on a new day here from the day I constructed the deck, and there's certain choices. I'm like, mm, what would I prefer? What would I prefer? After kind of letting it simmer in your head, it's funny how leaving on a league can really uh, let things simmer. But uh, we'll have to mulligan this, unfortunately. Um, that is distinctly okay. Ooh, it's kind of slow. We do have the key to the city, but I mean, one, two, I guess that's okay. Because we might be able to, with the Aether Poisoner, we might be able to drop that off earlier and the key to the city. Maybe we'll get negated again. <laughs> God, I can't believe that. I'm not sure how good negate is in this format, in limited especially. Um... But obviously, well, I mean, like, even there, like, the key to the city wasn't going to get me out of it, right? So I'm not sure how good that was. Um, make my servo. If he wants to trade before he gets his servo, that's fine. No, I didn't think so. Alright, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana, 6 mana. Yep, sounds good. Key of the City is pretty good in this matchup actually, where he's trying to make all these little chump blockers while he slows things down until he gets to his big payoffs like the 4-4 four, four improvised dude. Another reason I was kind of okay with Fenholer. Well, he gets the turn three brawler. So I think the question is here, do we want to race? And I think we kind of do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, hmm. Yep. I'm just going to offer the trade here, actually. I'm not too concerned. If he wants to trade, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't think he would want to. Um, we don't want to double block here because um, we need the servo for casting Fenholer. Aether Super City, eh? I mean, I don't find this board very threatening when I know I have a 5-5 five five in my hand, to be perfectly honest. Sure, that's fine. And key this city will help us grind. Oof. Jeez, all these little flyers, man. Hmm. Hmm. I think he just wants to beat one, two, three, four in the air. You know, we kind of have to apply some pressure, which is frustrating, but. Okay. Slam the fan hauler. See what we can do. Does not untap. Okay. Artifact or creature? Okay. It's gonna ring. That might mean he has another answer for the family. Thinking about it. Hmm. 
Well, we definitely have no way to get Keep the City back online. Good old, good old Red Black doesn't have a lot of enchantment removal. <laughs> but hmm, this is kind of interesting because he has this choice of kind of like running in for four in the air, right? So that gives him a four turn clock. See, that's why I know he's thinking about it. Like, oh, should I just attack with two? This still puts him on twelve. Still four turn clock. Obviously, that's less good if I manage to kill one of it, who's like 2-1 or something like that. Okay. So he's considering making some blocks over here and things like that. Or the possibility of like, these two on the Brazen Scourge, these on the Van Holler. Um, okay. Sure. You may proliferate whatever counters you have. Which is none. Essex. Renegade Freighter. That's a pretty good draw, actually. Um, so if I take it with this, he's just going to block with like these three. We get to take this and this. Which is kind of distinctly meh. Um, if we attack with this, then he probably throws two servos and something else in front of it. I mean, if he's just going to only clock me for two, I think we have time to start setting up our board. Especially with the Renegade Freighter. Freighter's pretty, pretty strong. Tax. I'm trying to think what's better here, though. I think in the interest of being mana efficient, we're going to play the Scrapper Champion. Because Double Strike's pretty good in this board, right? It's going to make him pretty hard to block. Um, I think I want to attack here, because even if we trade two, we're reducing his board and things that can tango with a double striker or the renegade freighter later. I'm pretty sure he'll want to trade it. The, our other option is just waiting until we get a removal spell, which is fine. But uh, I'm very aware that he's a clock in the air, so I think I'm just going to force the issue. Not sure this is the best line, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, see? Okay. But we get to trade two for one, which is fine. His clock in the air is reduced to a four turn clock if he wants to get aggressive. And none of his stuff on board tingles very well with a 3 3 double striker now. I grabbed an island. Okay. I mean, we could have waited for the shock or fatal push or something like that, but I think this is fine. And he gets the gear seeker servant. Sure, thank you, boss. <clears throat> well, that thing goes pretty well with the 3 3 <laughs> double striker. I mean, it actually doesn't tango amazingly. <laughs> Because they'll have to trade, but it's such a good common. Love this card. Good old, good old affinity. Affinity too strong. Sure, I'll take three in the air. Oh yeah, that's a good draw. Coolio. Um, yeah, let's just get that off the table before he gets in the gate back up. <laughs> And let's push, push it, push it real good. Yeah, yeah. Three, three, double strike. Double strike's got to be one of my favorite keywords. Everyone's thinks I'm so boring, but really, first strike, double strike. I'll take it at any of it. Give me that, give me that Thalia text. Anything that's similar to the text on Thalia, I'm 100% okay with. Ah, the treasure keeper, this guy. Alright, so now we're just all out racing. What my opponent doesn't know is that I have a big old freighter. Sure. Fine. Sure, you don't want to proliferate my dude? Um, wayward giant. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Yep, sounds good. He gets a trade for this, but that's okay. The less blockers he has, because we want to find the wayward giant sooner rather than later. And if he doesn't have as many blockers. Hungry Flames. Wow. Alright, well, that's one way to do it. And he gets to advance his clock. God, what? That was pretty strong. <laughs> I feel a little bit sad. <laughs> Can be perfectly that. Uh, I mean, I guess that was part of the risk involved, right? With that move. Just gonna try to weenies in the air. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, like it's kind of hard because no matter what, he's gonna get there, right? It's gonna be the next three drop on the top of his deck. Uh, God, that's frustrating. And it was the perfect thing to make his clock quicker, so... I mean... I'm not really sure what I can do about that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Player, sad freighter. Sad freighter is sad. Go ahead. Yep. Well, GG's opponent. Um, yeah, we went 3-2. and two. Not bad, but uh, could have done a little bit better. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, make sure you like, subscribe to the Murphy's CCC, CCG's channel so you can get more of the same. Hope you enjoyed watching Captain Powerhouse here. All right. We'll see you for the next video next week.